OK, so we're going to look at logging into Schoology as a student. So there's two ways to do this. You can do this via a browser, so either Chrome or you can use Safari, either or. I'll just show that first. So if I go to Chrome, um, sorry, I was already logged in, so I'll just log myself out for a moment. So I'll go log out. And what you're going to do is you're going to visit stj.schoology. Com. So that's our special one for our school. Check you've stj.schoology, make sure you've spelled it correctly and search. It'll bring you to this page, which I was just on, and it'll say choose an account. I'm going to choose my stjosephsrush.com. If you pick any other one, it won't work. And uh, you might need to type it in there, obviously. Now, mine didn't ask for a password because I logged in already today. It'll just ask you for your password and then you're into Schoology on the browser. The browser is a little bit handier sometimes, I feel, but it's total personal preference as well. Now, the other way is to use the app. So down in the bottom left here, you'll see I've installed the Schoology app. If you don't have it, uh, just go to your app store and you can get it. Um, or you can use, uh, or you can use, Bing. I'm going to say, just go back, show this and start. Or you can use a uh, uh, wriggle. So how, you're going to be asked to sign in. And the, when we get to this, you should see this page here. And it says, log in through your school. So I'm going to type in our school. So it's St. Joseph's. Now, don't pick the first St. Joseph's you see, because you'll see now in a moment that there is a lot of St. Joseph's. So which one's ours? Ooh. So we're going to type St. Joseph's, and we're going to say Rush. Now, you'll see ours still hasn't come in. Oh, it has, but it's down here, okay? Um, now, I'll just show a few small things if you need to find it. We should have an apostrophe here. So I'll just put in an apostrophe, S. And there you go, it now becomes the very top one. So just, this is, you only have to do this once, and I would do it once to do it right. Don't pick the wrong one, your codes won't work and you'll get very upset. So. Once you've picked it, you're going to say log in through your school and it will bring you to a web browser. So in here, you're going to type in your .com address. So for me, I'm coding student uh, at stjosephsrush.com. So make sure it's .com, not your .ie, your .com, always .com for Google. Press enter. It'll ask for your password. Put in your password. I'm just going to paste mine in so you can't see it um, and press next. So bada bing bada boom. It says iOS authorization. Just can it use it? You're going to say yes. OK, otherwise you can't log in. Um, it would like to send you notifications. I would suggest that you have a think about this. I would allow it as a student. I would think it's worthwhile. Um, because you might get reminded about things you need to do, but you might find there might be too many. So you'll have to just play with that. But either way, you, you can still check all your stuff when you log in. So that's all there is to logging in. I'm going to do another video on how to join a course next.